Sensors are everywhere today. It is becoming more and more of a reality to use sensors to monitor personal health. Also, the healthcare industry is overloaded. One way to reduce the strain is to keep patients at home unless it is absolutely necessary for them to see a doctor. The system you are about to see a demonstration of was designed with these two points in mind. This is Eva. She has periodically experienced unexplainable fatigue and visits her physician frequently for answers. She has recently learned that this may be caused by a condition known as sleep apnea. Eva has decided to give our prototype a try as it enables her to monitor her movement while she sleeps. It may give her the answers she is looking for regarding her fatigue. The small device she is wearing around her wrist is called the porcupine. Among other things, it can log movement data. To initiate this logging, Eva must connect the device to her laptop's USB port and use the porcupine interface, which you can now see, to begin the process. Now Eva can disconnect the porcupine, turn off her laptop, and go to bed. Later in the night, Eva experiences poor sleep. The porcupine should pick up these movements that Eva is making. The next morning, Eva wakes up feeling a little fatigued, but confident that she will be able to know why. It is worth pointing out that her physician, Karsten, has not been involved in any of the process so far. He is available to work on other things while Eva monitors herself from home. Eva can view the data from the previous night at her leisure, but she is very interested to see it, so she goes right for her laptop. She simply has to reconnect the porcupine and download the data using the porcupine interface one more time. Here you can see the porcupine interface again. This time Eva is using it to retrieve the data from her porcupine and store it into her personal health record system, BANT. Eva can now log into Bunt and view the data she has just collected. The Bunt system was developed by a previous course at our university. One of the ways we extended it was by integrating PatientLink. This provides a secure communication channel to the health network, which Eva must use if she wants to send data to Karsten over the internet. The process requires strong authentication by Norwegian law, and this is handled with a single-use password being sent to Eva by SMS. After login is complete, she only needs to press the send button. Here is Karsten again. He has found some time to review Eva's case and would like to take a look at her health record. His office uses the Patient OS system to organize patient information. Patient OS is an open source health information system which includes the functionality of an electronic health record. After logging into the system, Karsten locates Eva's record and her sensor data, which she has chosen to share with him. Karsten can then use the data Eva has collected and shared to aid his diagnosis. This will reduce the amount of visits and the time required to effectively handle Eva's case. The prototype system we developed is really a collection of other systems. Our work was split between integrating and extending these systems to support new applications, such as the scenario covered in this demo. Here is a list of these systems. Source code and or links to their homepages can be found at our homepage.